As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything what is going on gemini how are you guys i hope you're all doing well um i got a couple extra 2023 fortune cards so i'm gonna pull one for you guys before we begin the reading um if you guys would like to see your fortune um it is the all signs video okay check your sun moon rising venus jupiter North node, all right? Yeah. Oh, okay. We're gonna take this one right here. These are scratch offs, okay? And then I'll start the reading. But if you are new here, stick around. I got some free personal readings coming your way. Everyone's gonna get two free personal readings, okay? So, let's see. Let me get my lucky coin. My lucky coin here. What does it say? <gasps> oh my god. Uh, luck will come as clear to you as as a pond. Luck will come as clear to you as a pond. Oh my goodness. So, I'm getting that you're very lucky, obviously. That's your fortune, you guys. Let's jump into the tarot, all right? Oh, hey, I will do Pisces after this. I really like these. All right. Sorry, you guys, I'm like so out of it. <laughs> I apologize. Like, I know that I'm always talky talky, but I don't know what it is. Like, I feel like you guys are really calm. Is that your energy right now? You're just really calm, peaceful, nothing to say. You just chill. Like, man, that's a good place to be in. Like, that's a good energy to be in, right? All right, let's jump into your reading, Gemini. <laughs> I'm so awkward today. Like, why is she so quiet? I don't know, girl. I don't know. All right. <laughs> you guys, I will pin this deck down too as well. I know you guys love these decks. This is the Mystic Mondays. Um, I will pin it right here on this um, screen right here. You'll see it right here. It'll say view products. Okay. Um, and you guys could just shop the product. Shop the collection if you like. All right, let's see. I know people have asked me about these cards. They're so cool, right? I actually put a little note, like notes on some of them. So I kind of ruined the deck, but whatever. I've had them for some time. All right, let's start. Oh, we got the world. Okay, so yeah, that's the energy coming towards you. It's also the energy you're embodying, oddly. That's the world card. So I feel like... I just heard the song, I got the whole world in my hands. I feel like you guys are emanating or you're embodying this energy of like someone who's very worldly. Um, Gemini does rule the world. Like, not like literally, like you guys are communication. You are our hands, our feet, well, not feet. Um, but yeah, like our hands, okay, our lips. Um, if we're going to talk about features, yeah, like your features, like your eyes and your ears, um, but the hands, all right, mainly the hands and the voice, um, also like technology, like written communications, we can't do anything without those things. Like we can't really talk to each other without Gemini, without the third house. So like, I feel like you guys, this world card, um, I feel like, oh girl, I heard take it or leave it, like it or love it. I don't know, I just heard that. It's like, bitch, on me. There's nothing you can do about it. You can't stop me. Like, I'm everywhere. 
Yeah, like I don't know what the world card I'm hearing. I'm everywhere. I'm global. Okay. Um, I don't know. Maybe you maybe you're starting something that is going to go viral or you're gonna oh, why does this remind me of like a virus? Um, but it's also like sacred geometry. It's sacred geometry, so like but it does kind of remind me of a virus or bacteria or something. Um, without all the little dots on it, but it's also like, um, I get solar plexus when I look at this, like life. I'm hearing vitality. You guys, there's nothing that anyone can do about it. I'm hearing something too, specifically around creativity, anything you're creating. Oh, I don't know. I just heard God say, oh. yeah, I'm intelligent, but I'm also creative. You are left brain and right brain. I'm hearing you're like, maybe you guys have like scatter brain like me. I have a Pisces moon and my rising is in Gemini. You guys might get a lot of ideas and you guys can be very intellectual, but like your, your creative abilities take over and it kind of makes you, people kind of feel like you're stupid, but you're not stupid, Gem. They think you're stupid. They're underestimating you. Girl, like the world card is like, the world card can also be Saturn because this is um, Saturn for me, like Capricorn energy. It's about restrictions. Like, I feel like you guys are going to go through a lot of challenges. Maybe you have Gemini in your Chiron or you have, like, Saturn in Sagittarius. Um, if this is spiritually based, I feel like you guys could have Saturn in Sagittarius. Um, you're going to be philanthropists. I'm hearing, like, you could travel the world to take help, to take care of people. Um, but this is telling me you guys are very worldly, all right? You could even travel this month. We have the Seven of Cups. A lot of options. You could be confused. Yeah, like, I don't know why. When I see this, it's like scatterbrain. And then options, confusion. This is good and bad. There's a polarity to every card, okay? There's a duality to all cards. Um, there's a light and dark aspect. But, um, like, yeah, I'm seeing, like, you guys, it's a good thing that you have all these options. How you're being seen is the judgment in reverse. Wow. It says dynamic, dynamic new beginning. And it says pros and cons. Divine awakening, spiritual court, in love, we must appreciate each other. I feel like you guys are looking at things from two different two different viewpoints, two different perspectives. That's your that is your ability, that is your asset. Somebody around you, I'm telling you, someone thinks you're stupid, Jim. You're not though. Like you guys are highly intelligent. You can have a Gemini North Node too. I'm hearing like um Donald Trump. You know, Donald Trump, people hate him, but he's a fucking mastermind. That guy is a genius. People just don't know. Because he's not really good. Like, he's not really good. He just makes a lot of bad decisions. But I'm going to tell you right now, there's something about, like, I'm, I'm getting, like, once you do something, once you figure something out, it's a wrap, Jim. Somebody around you is underestimating you. You have all these options in front of you. I feel like it's a good thing, but also a bad thing because the options can make you confused because you don't know which way to go. You don't know which thing to choose. You know, um, amongst these options, there is one bad decision. So like you guys are really weighing the pros and cons here. This judgment card is telling me you're weighing the pros and cons of this right here, whatever this is. This could be people. This could be people who wanna work with you. This could be anything from business to relationships, okay? Because everything is here, we have love. Or you could be deciding, you could be trying to decide between work and love. There's something like that here, but I feel like someone really is underestimating you, Jim. I'm even hearing too, money in the bank. Shorty, what you drink? I got money in the bank. Shorty, what you drink? Yup, look at the emperor. Somebody, I feel like you have stacks. Somebody around you does not believe in you or they don't believe in what you're doing. You know, the emperor is uh, someone who is a CEO. This is someone who is respected, well-known. This is a winner. This is someone who owns everything. This is a boss. I also get clout with this because Aries is number one. Aries is number one. All right. Some of you guys could have Aries like exalted in your chart. Maybe you have Aries Jupiter. Maybe you have Jupiter um, in the first house, okay, in the poop in the first house, <laughs> in the first house. But like, look at where your Jupiter is, and then collaborate, co 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 uh, correlate that with the first, co correlate that with if you have it in the first house, correlate it. Like, say you have Pisces Jupiter in the first house, 
We have Aries, Jupiter in the 12th house, wherever it is, look at it. Okay. Cause I'm getting something about the first house. This is who you are. This is you. This is, you are the face of whatever this is. Like you are the face of the company. Also, you could get by on just your looks, Jim, especially my Gemini risings and my Gemini suns. Okay. You guys are, oh, you always look young. Like Gemini's look so young. Oh my God. Especially with Aries in your chart. If you have Aries exalted, you look so young. People think you're like 20 years old and you're 45 or someone's like 50 years old. And they, I don't know, like I'm getting like J-Lo vibes. All right. Anyways, we have Mr. Perfect. This is also, um, why did I just put that on there? <laughs> I said Mr. Perfect. Here's Mr. Perfect um, with the Knight of Pentacles in the obstacle position. Oh, baby. So this is about love or this is about finances. What is it? It says celebratory. Oh, wait, no, it says calculating. I'm sorry. This is someone who's always trying to weigh the pros and cons. So I'm getting this is you, Gemini. Yeah, you need to think about whatever it is you're trying to do. If this is a business-related thing, um, there's a need to really, really weigh the pros and cons here. You got a lot of, like, thinking, thinking. I feel like there's you're just in your head a lot, Gem. That's why you're so quiet. Because before I started the reading, I was like, man, this, I'm so awkward. Why am I so quiet today? <laughs> That's you. But you guys are usually talky-talky. You're usually communicating. I feel like you guys are keeping your cards really close to your chest. Wow, you got the tower. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. There could be a reason why you're doing this. You're being secretive. You could be in someone else's energy. A Scorpio. This person is straight up bogarting your energy or you're like sort of harnessing this energy. You could be a Scorpio Pluto generation or you have 8th house Neptune. Sorry, excuse me. Scorpio moon. I'm hearing Scorpio moon. But you have like very, like you're serious. Whatever it is you're doing, you're very serious. This says, uh-oh. I took, put some notes on here. It says, uh-oh. Blessing in disguise. It says, boom. Um, it says, unavoided endings, okay? I also get with this... Um, You could be someone's ending. Why did I hear that? You're someone's karma? Yeah, because with the boom, I'm just hearing like, um, because you just, you guys, somebody, because you're so quiet, Jam, because it's not like you, all right? Somebody doesn't think you have what it takes or they don't, they don't think you have any ideas left or they think you've run out of ammo. They think you've run out of like, I don't know. They think you don't have something here. And it's like you have it all because you have all these options. I think you're holding your cards pretty close to your chest, Jim. Are you playing poker? <laughs> poker in the face. I'm just kidding. <laughs> wow. You see what I'm saying? You got jealousy too. Here's jealousy. Um, jealousy from those who may see your success. It appears as if you have grown overnight. So something you've been hiding, I mean, I mean, whatever it is you are doing, you're really good at keeping it a secret, which is so unlike you. <laughs> I don't know why. I heard talky talky. I want to tell everybody. I feel like you guys are really in your head, man. You really want to talk about whatever this is, but you're like, nope, fuck these haters. Fuck all these people because they don't do nothing. I feel like Gemini, you're like, man, all these people do is use me. You know, I don't know why I'm getting that. So maybe somebody around you always uses you because you're smart. They always need your help. This person be talking shit. Ugh. I don't know. This person, whoever that is, they be talking shit about you, Jim. At the same time, they be... Yeah, you got, you got Scorpio twice here. Scorpio here, you guys. Okay, this is about rising from the ashes. All right? This is alchemy. This is a shapeshifter. This is a mystic. Transform. Can't kill death. All right? The death card is in reverse. It's right underneath that seven of cups, you guys. Okay? It says, I come alive in the nighttime. These are just little notes I took, I put on here. <laughs> Rising from the ashes, okay? Yeah, and I put, you can't kill death. Yeah, you can't kill death. That's the one thing you cannot kill. Um, I feel like something that you're doing, is like someone's trying to destroy it, but it's so big. You know, you guys are expanding. Whatever this is, eight of wands underneath the world. It's a, someone thinks you went viral or something's going viral. Like I told you, this kind of looks like a viral infection, but I feel this is the world card, y'all. This is someone going viral here because of they, they because they thought, because everything was well thought out. You're a planner. You know, this emperor is action oriented though. 
So you guys are a mix of both worlds. I feel like you guys have a perfect balance of harmony within you. Um, you being a Gemini too, like I tell Pisces, it's an asset to have a twin. You know, people think you're crazy, you're wishy-washy, but listen, listen up, baby. You guys look out for each other. Your twin looks out for you and you look out for your twin. All right, your twin could actually be a Scorpio. For someone here, I'm hearing your twin flame is a Scorpio. Very specifically, this person be looking for looking out for you in the spirit realm if they're not here no more. Um, others of you, this person astral projects. This person comes into your room at night and they have sex with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, but that's what I got with the seven of cups and the death in reverse. Somebody be having sex with you, boo-boo, while you are sleeping. You may have actually experienced this paranormal activity with another being or entity, a ghost. You may have um, experienced this before. Yeah, I'm hearing in your teens, early teens, like 14, 15 years old. I know that was just random, but it wasn't random because someone literally experienced that. A ghost had sex with you and you remember it. <laughs> that was just random like you guys are really connected to spirit okay there's something like that i'm hearing but yeah like there's a lot of cups here seven of cups scorpio like that's a lot of water when with the death card yeah all right how are you being seen again let's see how you're being seen knight of swords in reverse yeah you guys are no longer fighting with people um, you, again, like I'm hearing no communication, someone who's not talking, someone who's not speaking up, but how someone feels about you. Look, this person is stalking you, man. There's someone around watching you down. Okay. I feel like too, this, if, how they feel about you is like, you work really hard. You're always working. You're always studying. Cause this is also research. This is online research. This could even be a background check. I'm even hearing on somebody. Yeah, because you know the Knight of Pentacles does does its due diligence. Hold on one second. Sorry about that, Gemini. I had to pause the video, so I'm gonna have to find where I was at. But um <sighs> my food came, so it's my lunch break right now. Anyways, you guys, um, I'm gonna finish this reading really quick. Um, yeah, there's definitely something about you guys doing research online, due diligence. I'm hearing due diligence, but I'm seeing mirror magic. For sure, with the death card um, and the tower, the eight of wands, someone being jealous. This Others of you, this is a false twin who could be same sex. That, that person jealous of you because of your success. Yeah, I see that with the, with the eight of wands. It's like jealousy from those who see your success. Um, you have a lot of options with the seven of cups. So like I see someone here trying to stop something that's happening with the mirror magic. I, I do get this with the princess of swords. I always see mirror magic. It's just, it's just the way that that light is beaming from that sword. You know, the way she's bending it, bending time, bending air. Um, I just heard airbender because <laughs> there's the swords. Swords are air. Air bending. This person is trying to stop something. You know, this is about shape shifting, you guys. This, this. This is about transformation, shape shifting, alchemy. Um, eight of Wands. Someone's jealous. Like I see, like two with the two eights here. Um, you could be a life path eight. Like I feel like you, you're very powerful. Maybe you're not a life path eight, but it's okay. Like I feel like the number eight is very significant for you guys. Okay. Um, the number eight is all about power, and you have the Queen of Cups in the position of how, in the, in the obstacle position, along with the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you guys got like a Pisces or a Virgo. Scorpio, okay, there, there's someone here, um, one of these signs, very specifically, is jealous, okay, I'm gonna be real, like, I feel like they're jealous, you have a lot of options, and this could be pertaining to love, or money, or business, whatever it is, I feel like you guys are well off, um, and you may not, if it pertains to love, Gemini, I don't see you guys focused on that right now, I feel like that was one of the things you were weighing. Like you were weighing the pros and cons of this and this and this, right? Um, love, I think you're putting that on the back burner and you're really focused on money right now. And I feel like whatever it is you're focused on is doing really well. So I'm just trying to take your attention from that. But you cannot stop it, all right? You can't stop it, all right? Um, anyways, you got a hater in the midst. <laughs> Haters gonna hate, baby, all right? We're gonna jump into, I'm gonna get an oracle message before we go. Okay, okay. 
And then, um, if you guys made it this far, take advantage of your free personal readings. This is the Britney Spears Oracle deck. I wish I could pin this. Um, again, if you guys want to purchase these cards, they are right here on the screen. Just view the products right here. All right. The cards are right there. And, yeah. This is Britney, bitch. <laughs> I wish I could put these up here, but I got these on Amazon. All right. Let's get one for my beautiful Geminis. We have the mother. Oh my gosh, this could actually be the mother of your children. I have the best, I have the golden ticket. Ooh, somebody, ooh, Gemini, someone trying to have your baby. <laughs> it says I have the golden ticket. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, wait. I have the golden ticket, baby bump. Someone trying to get like, what somebody's trying to get someone trying to take your name or someone trying to get <sighs> baby if you guys are athletes or something i'm just hearing you need to strap up and take those condoms with you because <laughs> we there's all kinds of insemination tools online you guys like you can literally bu buy an insemination kit on amazon it go, girl, you could buy it. Yes, y'all. I'm not trying to give the ladies any type of hints, but yeah, you could buy an insemination kit on Amazon. I saw it myself. Um, no, I was not trying to find these things. I was not looking for it, but I saw it. I was like, oh my God, it's freaking weird. Um, I forget what I was looking for. I think I was looking for a movie or something. I know. How do you see that? I don't know. Anyways, um, <laughs> someone is... Yeah, this is the golden ticket, you know. Um, I don't know if you're like a fame, you're famous or you're a rapper, you're an artist. Gemini's um, known for for um, writing music, okay, um, lyrics. So like maybe you're a publisher. I don't know. Maybe you're an artist. Maybe you are a an a, a, a sports announcer or something. But somebody is yeah. Like I'm hearing artist, someone who's in the music business, the industry. That there, you need to be careful. Or and if you're a female, just just know that he's trying to lock it down. Okay, whoever this is, they want to keep you, baby. Because I mean, not only are they jealous, some of you this could be a friend, but others of you, I'm getting like this is a love interest who could be a little jealous, and they're trying to sabotage by getting you pregnant. Okay, girl, I'm just saying. I know that was weird. <laughs> it's a random message, but I love you guys. Don't forget to check out your free stuff, okay? All that stuff is down below. Tons of free goodies. I hope this resonates. If it doesn't, if it doesn't resonate, check out your your um, other placements: Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, especially your North Node. And don't forget to subscribe to the other channel. That is the third link. I love you guys so much. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Namaste.